great. I've just got the bike out and heading off to meet Paul. And Storm Dennis has turned up. Still, I'll find out if these uh, GMAC jacket and trousers are waterproof. So, I'm heading off down to um, the services on the M56. That's meet up with Paul. I was kind of wondering whether Dennis was going to hit or not and since he had by sort of like midday I thought well you know it'll be alright and I got a text off Paul should we meet up yep and now just have been getting the bike out he's here never mind just have to get on with it Left my mobile phone at home, that was clever. Looks like it's sunny over where Paul's coming from now. But it is also a bit nippy. Doesn't look as though he's here yet. Mind you, I don't even know what time it is, so. around the front where he can see me. Well folks, you join us today for a little ride out. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be no two-way talking at the moment because uh, Ray somehow managed to get his um, his Cardo Pack Talk onto um, Bluetooth mode. And without looking at the instructions on the internet, I don't know how to turn it back. But we'll uh, figure that out when we stop for a coffee. So yeah, got Raymond here today, going to have a little ride out. 
we'll see how we get on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh. Oh, he's remembered to turn his indicators on. But while he is disconnected and can't listen to me, what I'll do, I'll talk about um, a meet and greet for September. It'll be the 19th of September and it'll be in Kettlewell. That's in, uh, I think, the Yorkshire Dales. I'll put a picture up of the campsite now. Now I've picked that campsite because it's got disabled facilities, toilets and showers and so on, and one of the people that might come along with us will need that. It's also got a private field. I'll put a photograph of it up now. The private field is 250 pound to hire for the night. And it holds up, uh, well, a minimum of 30 people would be, would be right. Um, I'm not really sure that we'll, enough people will be interested, but if you are, I'll give uh, an email at the bottom to, to tell me if you're interested or not. The campsite itself, if you try and book it online, it'll give you only for two nights. I'll most likely book two nights. If you want one night, you might have to phone and see if they can uh, book you in for just the one night. Now, the reason why I chose Kettlebell is it's not just got the campsite and not just got disabled facilities but Your bike it's was a nice short and clean walk on the, the left. <laughs> it's the King's Head is about a three minute walk away. <laughs> Look at it now. <laughs> and uh, one of our subscribers can't really walk very far so the closer the better really. At the same time Kettlewell itself has quite a lot of alternative accommodation and it ranges from a hostel, a youth hostel, through to a whole house. So people can pretty much pick and choose what it is that they want. I was thinking of meeting at a place called Roosters, and I'll put a picture up of that here. They do a really big breakfast, literally massive. thinking of riding out to a place called Alston, then heading south to Hawes by the Butter Tubs Pass, then head east from Hawes and then down south to Kettlewell. Probably stop a couple of times. Um, Hawes especially because they've got a supermarket there, anyone who wants to get any food in for the campsite that night and get it from there. If you want to cook your own food, which I think I might want to do, uh, you can do. We'll just turn up at the pub and have a beer. Okay, no. The next day, I was thinking of heading out from Kettlewell and going west over the moors. It's a single track road and I can't check the entire length. The reason I chose to go this from Kettlewell Bay is if it turns out it's got gravel or anything like that that I don't want to ride on, it's easy enough to turn around and take an alternative route. 
we go across the moors and we'll head back up to Penrith at Roosters and stop for lunch or tea or whatever time it is we get there and then everybody goes their separate ways I'll put details up on the Facebook group and I'll also give this video to Paul so that he can put it on his YouTube channel as well Now for anybody that's interested Motorever sorting out a one-nighter August bank holiday on the Saturday at Lake Vernwee Paul and myself will be going but up to now they've not advised us of campsites or anything like that but they'll, they'll get they'll get around to that so if you're interested in that if you go along to their channel on YouTube and their channel on Facebook and just tell them where you want to go ride today I did have a route I was going to follow but then Paul said he was uh, he'd like to come along so I turned up without a route and without my phone all because of uh, Storm Dennis Tom kit not being connected up properly has got nothing to do with Storm Dennis, but coming out with my phone, well, I got my bike outside. I had to lock the gate so they didn't get battered by the storm, which I wasn't expecting to have to do. It was looking pretty good this morning. So I had to go in and get all the stuff to lock the gate with the bike the other side of it. And then I legged it through the house as fast as I could and hook it off. Now we're heading towards Tarvin. I used to cycle along this road when I was a lad. There was a, an aquarium shop at the top for tropical fish. I used to cycle up there, buy the tropical fish, put them in a bag and cycle all the way home again. It was a long ride. This section of it is not the most joyous part. In fact, I don't really sure there's any joyous part on this bit. Put these things in the middle of the road. It's all right. You can get past sometimes. But the reason they're there is these turning places. You've got to be sure of yourself. Well, they go away shortly. See, there's a couple more of the uh, blockers in the central reservation, but. There's a right hand turn. And until we finish with all of those, it stays pretty much like this. Paul's 
keeping up quite nicely. So what's wrong with me here? Bitching like a man on a fuzzy tree. Who do you think I'm having love? I'm all shook up. Oh, oh. Hey, yeah. I won't be showing that. Here we myself. go.
Oh mate, it's all blowy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No. Actually, we're only out for a couple of hours, aren't we? So it's not too bad, is yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's all right. I fix all right me coming back for a coffee anyway, so I'll just run Okay. Right. 60? Bloody 60! <laughs> What's that? You! 60? Bloody 60! <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? I, I'm just talking bollocks, mate. Oh, yeah, that's usual then, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're back, are we? <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, I wish there wasn't working now. <laughs> mate, are you going to pass or are you not? What's he doing? Dicking about. Are, are we clear? Yeah. Could never have done that on the Deville, mate. No, you wouldn't. I haven't got a clue where we are, mate. I have. Have you? Yeah, nowhere near home. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> We come to a junction up here somewhere where there's a petrol station we just do a... Oh, was that the one where we come out from the back end of Alton Park? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's it, yeah, I know where you are now. See where it says Warrington, A49? Yeah, yeah. We're turning here, are we, yeah? Yeah, I know where you are now, mate. I have a vague idea. This handles completely differently, this bike with all these boxes on the back, you know. Um. No. I don't know what to say, it, really. It feels very... <laughs> <laughs> it feels rather nimble, you know. I'm not getting any uh, wavering or wobbling, anything at all. It's ah, right, see what you mean. So it handles better? Yeah. Isn't that what I said? I don't know what you said. You said difference, I think. Oh, did I? Yeah. Are you just being an argumentative fanny again, are you? <coughs> Don't know about the fanny bit. All <laughs> oh, right. <nice. Can> you? <laughs> You're on late this week, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got a bit of peace when I come in in the morning then. <coughs> I can put that right in the afternoon now. Yeah. Oh, Ferrari. Well, I haven't got a clue where I am, most so. Yeah, you do. Vague, actually thinking about it, yeah, vaguely I do, yeah. What's this fucking idiot doing? Uh, 30 mile an hour. Oh, we're coming into a 40, aren't we? Oh, fair enough. It's how it's turning. I know, that's why I'm pulling over here to let him get out of my fucking way. Fucking hell. Oh, somebody got a low battery. 30,000 miles in two years, that guy's done. I know, that's amazing, isn't it? I give yeah, him, it's fantastic. I, I give him a stick and he was all you. made up. Hey? Eh? Yeah, I, I saw you. Yeah. I thought, I might as well, eh? And then there was other two Romanians. How, 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 how's that? <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't believe that, would you? No. You couldn't make it up. And I said, uh, we've just been to Romania. I said, yeah, it's on YouTube. Have a look. Oh, brilliant. He's going over. you watching that. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, he showed interest. Yeah. Got another subscriber. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, if you go onto your analytics page... Yeah. And then go to the home page of the analytics. It yeah. tells you the exact amount of subscribers you've got. Does it? Yeah, yeah. So if you go to your main analytics screen, not yeah. not per video, but actual for your channel. Yeah. Uh, actually tells you your total number of um, subscribers. It's actually 3,007, but it seems to be adjusting from 3,010 to... Uh, I know exactly how many I've got. Uh, yeah. Is that your engine revs then? Yep. Oh, okay. Like, like in the car, I was a little bit slow because I was pushing my visor up and he thought he'd get away. Oh, hang on. Is that somebody I've got a camera somewhere, is it? Who? What? There's a camera down here, is it somewhere? Or uh, it's beeping I at me. That. I don't think there's one here, Paul. Hey. Yellow River.
Ooh, gravel. Right, I've got half a tank here, and it's telling me I've still got 152 mile left. Yeah, we're not doing that far today. No, no. You might. I'll tell you what, mate, it's still a bit blower, you know. Uh, it's not too bad, though, is it? It's no. not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Will I make that? No, probably not. You let me throw, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Woodbine Cottage. Aye. Winter storage available. Yeah. Riverside, that looks posh, doesn't it? It does, I've never been there. No. But it looks alright, doesn't it? Looks really nice, mate. Yeah. I have to try it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm beeping. That means me thing. Ah, uh, me cardo's beeping. What does that mean? I've got about 20% battery power. <laughs> well, get it to our house, won't it? Hey. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll get us there, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, alright. No. Let's not worry then, eh? Uh, no, no. I'll cry, because you can still talk to me, but other than that, Yeah, yeah, worry, that's eh? the downside, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, some of that biking gear is very expensive, isn't it? That's ridiculous, some of the prices, mate, isn't it? Yeah. A pair of jacket and a pair of trousers would cost more than I paid for this bike. Yeah. Well, a £1,000 for a jacket, that's just bloody... That's just ridiculous, mate, isn't it? Yeah, you're having, you're having sort of spasms there, aren't you? Just thinking about it. <laughs> what do you say there? What? Spandex? Spasms! Oh, spasms! I thought you said spandex! Yeah, spasms! <laughs> Fucking hell! I couldn't hear what you said, mate. Well, you should do. You've got a conk in your head. Yeah, but I haven't got a brain to interpret it, have I? Well, there is that. Unfortunately, with my limited vocabulary, Raymond... <laughs> What, two words? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> fucking off. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just point out, I was pissed when he was answering you back. <laughs> when was this? When they were sending those emails, those um, text messages the other night. Oh, that's all right, not bothered. Oh. You know where you are now. Uh, surprisingly, mate, um, no. Yeah, you do. Do I? Warrington Road. Where are we, Warrington? No. I think I've been down this road, I was running it in, wasn't I? You have been down this road, Paul. Yeah. You've been down this road a few times. Have I? Yeah. I think, I'm sure you brought me down here when I was running the bike in. Yeah, you should be careful how you say that. Yeah. Actually, I think the tyres are uh, starting to round off again. You reckon? Yeah, I can, I can feel them uh, reacting a bit better. Going into, going into bends a bit better. <laughs> well, I'm doing all right on this at the moment. It feels okay. It is a bit blowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is blowy today, mate. Yeah, I can't take yeah, that away. I'll tell you what I do like in this, when you accelerate and you change gear without the clutch. Oh yeah! It's got the quick shift technology on it. 
I tell you, yeah. it's so much easier just to flick your toe and not touch the... So you save you, your wrist as well from operating the clutch. Yeah, you don't have to... It lets you, uh, lets you change gear. But you've got to be over a certain speed to do it though, in a certain RPM. Yeah. What you basically do is you can hold it at 4,000 RPM and it'll just go through the gears. Yeah. Don't don't let... The whole point is not to let your throttle out, because that way you just get smoother acceleration. Does it change the gears for you automatically when the revs are, are right? No, it doesn't. You've still got to change... You've still got to use your foot, like. Yeah. But it won't do it if you let go of the throttle. You've got to keep it, you know, the throttle. Yeah. So it works out quite well if you're... Uh, but once you go below like three and a half thousand, you've got to use your lose the clutch then. Yeah. We're going down here, Paul. Are we? Yeah. Only because you've not been down here before. All oh, right. Okay. I don't even know where they are. We are, mate. Halton says it there. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like Campo Mayor? <laughs> yeah. Only I spelt it right. <laughs> Shut up, man. You still hear me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought it had cut off. not to respond, that's all. Oh, I see. Well, my bike's already dirty, so it's pointless even worrying about it now. Yeah, yeah. It's only a BMW, isn't it? Shut up. Six thousand eight hundred and fifty have done. It's what? Six thousand eight hundred and fifty miles have done. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I think it's run in now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I've done over eleven thousand miles on this now. Have you? Yeah. Oh, was this by the Ring of Bells? Is it? Uh, uh, no. No. Oh. Brings you out just before Daresby Roundabout. Oh, right, OK. Doesn't mean anything that time. Oh, Dares right, OK, Daresby, yeah, got you. Yeah. Summer Lane is fantastic down there. Are they? Oh, that was a bad gear change. See. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? Yep. That sun's just right where you don't want it. Yeah, it always is, isn't it? Yeah. I know where I am now. Yeah, this you is what it takes you down to Preston Brook, isn't it? Uh, Going yeah. Going the other way, yeah. 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 How did you find all these roads then, just play about with it? Um, I go on Google. Right, OK. And just have a look at what roads are around where I live. Then go and have a go on them. Yeah, fair play. They're all right. Yeah, yeah. It's surprising how many good roads there are right on my doorstep. Yeah. Do you know what? That com kit's working without your aerial being up. Is it? Yeah. That'll be why I keep forgetting to put it up. <laughs> Here, baboon. Because it works just as well without it. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I still haven't put this in dynamic mode, you know. Have you now? No. You're going to have to try it one day. I will do, when I get a bit more confidence in it, mate. When yeah. The, when the bike starts to feel slow. 
<laughs> yeah, Which yeah, that's it. I mean, when you took a wave before, I was in second gear earlier on, you know, going up Kelso Hill. Yeah. But if there's no way I'm accelerating here, I'm still terrified of doing it in first and second gear. <laughs> I'm just in, I never forgot that time when I, on the higher one, you know, when it took off and I couldn't let go. Yeah, you can't let go, that's the problem with it. Okay, now they didn't have to go, mate. Oh! I'd, I'd say it was great fun, but it's scary. You know, are you going straight? Oh, you're in the right way, sorry. Yeah. As I say, you must know where you're going, mate, because you do live here. You'd think so, wouldn't you? I would hope so, yeah. You're winking, by the way. That's because I'm going left. Oh, OK. Well, you can't turn right from here. Fuck off! <laughs> Read the highway code! <laughs> <laughs> I, I know the highway code, mate. Rainy over there, mate. There's what? Looks wet over there. Yeah, those are the tops of buildings, you idiot. <laughs> oh, you baboon. Fucking Mr. goblin. Mr. Idiot, if you don't mind.